Welcome back to the channel, guys. One of the things people ask me a lot, and, and this is in my classes, um, this is in my, uh, you know, when I see people on the water, I get questions in my inboxes a lot. How do you choose or how do you set your gain? Um, and then as we know, gain is essentially sensitivity. Um, one thing of note that I've, that I have, uh, that a lot of people don't understand is gain has nothing to do with the transducer. And what I mean by that is gain is simply how the image that the transducer returns uh, is returned shows up on the screen. Um, and what I, and to explain that a little bit better, uh, my my units are linked. I have two units linked together, and I can show, for example, the forward image from one transducer on both screens. I can also choose different gains for each unit. Uh, I can turn the gain up to eighty on one unit and down to sixty on the other. Gain. Uh, is just the sensitivity that the of the image it shows. Um, so it doesn't change what the transducer does. It just shows how much information shows up on the screen. How, uh, so that's something to note. It doesn't change how the transducer reacts. Um, so, you know, knowing that it, it simply adjusts how clean your image is. So I always... I love 68. 68 is a great starting point. 99% um, of the time, I never come off 68. Um, 68 is just a wonderful, wonderful starting point. But for the, you know, the purposes of this illustration, I used the simulator because the simulator, uh, you know, just is a good place to, to learn things and it's a good thing to tinker and to learn about different functions on it. So um, don't pay as much attention to the number on the gain as to how I do it. And finding, now everybody may like it a little different. Some people like a little bit more artifact um, on the screen because it shows a little bit more of the bait and things like that. Some people like a cleaner screen. That's up to you. But I always try to use 68. It's my spot, but it's also a great starting point. So let's get into that video right now, and we'll explain how we set up gain to get the optimal picture and how I do it. Here we go. So as I stated, don't pay as much attention to the numbers. But, all right, so we, you know, just a good starting point. I also, uh, I always start at 68. Now, notice this is a tad bit dark. You're not getting a lot of detail. You're not getting a lot of the smaller objects in the water. So, when we turn the gain up, a lot of times we're going to go too far. And then you're going to start to see those areas where um, the artifact's going to appear, the brightness is going to appear. There we are. You're starting to see all the little small particles in the water. Uh, uh, that'll be algae, uh, leaves, even muddiness in the water. But So you don't want to go too far. But if you go back to the other way, um, now you're noticing those fish fading away. And that also is not only the fish are going to fade away, your bait's going to fade away. So you have to try to find that fine line. And as we go back and forth, you'll notice where that perfect area is, where there's, you're still seeing the fish, you're still seeing the bait, but you're not seeing all the artifact in the water, whether it be the algae, whether it be the mud, uh, even the sun rays, there's finding that fine line. Now, I like mine a little bit on the side of just a touch of artifact in the water. All right, guys, I hope that helped you understand how to set up gain um, and how, uh, how I do it. But also, I think understanding gain and what it is also help you understand how to set the picture up essentially you know a lot of people say it's it is sensitivity but it's not adjusting the transducer it's just adjusting how the transducer's return is displayed on the image it doesn't make your transducer go up and down with sensitivity it's all controlled inside the unit and i hope that helps you but guys thanks for watching 
Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell.